Josh Cameron. Testing. All right, good morning, everyone. My name is Mitchell Silver, and I'm the New York City Parks Commissioner, and I'm thrilled to be here to cut the ribbon on the newly reconstructed section of the East River Esplanade, particularly between 70th and 72nd Street. Round of applause, because I'm happy about it, too, and I'll tell you in a second. Can you hear me through this? Because I, you can, okay, great. So first, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the fierce, and I mean fierce, advocacy of the New York City Council member, Ben Kalos. Ben? Thank you. In 2015, he worked to bring the Hospital of Special Surgery to this project. So a huge thank you to Ben is well deserved. I'd also like to acknowledge uh, Louis Shapiro, President and CEO of the Hospital for Special Surgery. We thank you and your team for taking the charge and funding and leading this project from design through construction. I was sharing uh, with Lewis that uh, I actually worked on the initial project where Hospital for Special Surgery extended over the FDR Drive back in the 90s, so it's nice to come full circle. And also, I'd like to thank uh, our friends to Parch, and hopefully she's coming shortly, but Manhattan Borough President, Gail Brewer, Minna Elias, Chief of Staff for Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney. Also like to acknowledge Community Board uh, 8 Chair Alita Camp. As well as Judy Schneider, very active in Community Board 8. And Trisha Shai Mamora, who is the Parks Committee Chair for Community Board 8. Our other friends with us is Jennifer Ratner, friends of the East River Esplanade, and Will Brightbill, who is the district manager of CB8. So as you can see, parks and open spaces are often made better through a team effort. With champions like Councilmember Kalos and partners like the Hospital for Special Surgery, we can and we're able to address important pieces of infrastructure recreational spaces, making them better and available for all who visit. Waterfront spaces like this Esplanade are some of our city's greatest front yards and the most scenic destinations. Now, I got a little bit of a glimpse of this Esplanade. If you all don't know, I'm training for the New York City Marathon, and this was one of our training runs about three weeks ago when I ran right past it, so I got a little bit of a pre preview uh, of what this looks like, and I can tell you, looking at other parts, of the Esplanade, you would agree, as well as Jennifer, that this is a treasured, beautiful section, and we hope the rest will look equally as beautiful in the future. These Esplanades help us link neighborhoods, and each and every block we are able to bring investment to, like what was done here through this project at the East River Esplanade. Uh, and we are making great strides toward that end to improve more of this Esplanade in the future. This 1.8 million reconstruction brings new paving, planting, benches, sound reducing walls, and helping mute the sound of the FDR Drive and the water service uh, irrigation also to the site. All making the experience here just absolutely amazing. And now I'm uh, pleased to bring up to the podium the CEO and President of Hospital for Special Surgery, Louis Shapiro. Thank you, Commissioner Silver, and welcome, everyone. And thank goodness for the weather today. It's remarkable. Who was responsible for that? You? Ben, good job. So I uh, thank you for joining us today to celebrate the completion of this very exciting project to upgrade the East River Esplanade in front of the HSS main campus. Many of you were with us uh, about a year ago when we broke ground on this project. We're delighted to have you back today as we officially open this approved section of the Esplanade. I'd like to uh, take a moment to uh, thank Commissioner Silver, and thank you very much. The New York City's Park Department, Councilmember Davis, thank you very much for the partnership of this project. Um, other leaders, um, uh, uh, Manhattan Park Special Bill Castro, Bill, where are you? Oh, thank you very much. And others who couldn't be with us today, um, Congressman uh, Maloney and uh, Borough President Gil Brewer. Also, thank you to um, Jennifer Ratner and Fred of the East River Esplanade, 
Civitas and Community Board 8 for their commitment to improving the Esplanade. As many of you know, HSS is very proud to be the leader in our field of healthcare. And we have the purpose of helping people get back to what they need and want to do better than any place in the world. And as part of our West Bend expansion at the main hospital, we were pleased to commit to upgrading this Esplanade between 70th and 72nd Street. Um, as uh, the commissioner said, we spent approximately $1.8 million on upgrades, including new seating, new pavers, new planting beds, landscape areas, repainting and repair of the Esplanade Railing. We've also installed a water fountain at 71st Street uh, near the ramp and a sound barrier under the East River uh, building to moderate the noise in the area. We are very excited to unveil this upgraded space today because our local community is very important to us. If you haven't already done so, I'd encourage you to take a few minutes and walk up and down this two block area and uh, enjoy, enjoy what we've all been able to work on together. Thank you very much for coming today. Thank you, Mrs. Shapiro. And now someone I mentioned that was a fierce advocate, determined to make every open space asset in this community transformed and come to life. Your council member, Ben Phillips. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you all for joining us at this beautiful new park in the district. Uh, it's a great day for a ribbon cutting. Uh, it was almost one year ago today that we were just steps away from here for a groundbreaking. Uh, and uh, I want to thank HSS President and CEO Lou Shapiro for working with us closely going back to 2015, for getting this entire area done in under a year. If you can share your secrets, uh, we would love to rebuild our have you rebuild our entire city. I think it's one of those things. If you can rebuild knees and hips and joints and really help people with their orthopedic needs, whether it's the New York Football Giants or just residents of the Upper East Side and the city, uh, it's, it's no wonder that you can do such great things for our city as well. I, I also want to take. Uh, an extra moment to thank HSS. Uh, since I got elected, we've been going to institutions along our parks and waterfronts and asking them to take part in conservancy efforts. And you have really taken that seriously and your representative to the front of the East River Esplanade Conservancy has really taken that seriously. I see her week in, week out, at event after event whether it's Andrew Haswell Green or, or here today, I just want to thank you for your commitment. With institutions like HSS invested, we can truly have a 21st century waterfront here on the east side. I want to thank our commissioner, Mitch Silver, and Manhattan Borough Commissioner Bill Castro, as well as Chief of Staff Steve Simon, for working with us on getting these projects done for their commitment to these parks for being a partner on this. And uh, this is a welcome $1.8 million investment that is part of an ongoing investment from this parks commissioner who has invested tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars into our East River Esplanade uh, with the support of our mayor, Bill de Blasio. Uh, and so thank you very much. Can we please give him a round of applause? When I was first elected, our Congress member Carolyn Maloney pulled me aside and said we have to fix the Esplanade. She asked me to join a newly formed task force as co-chair, and since then we've worked together with the Parks Department's community leaders to turn this park around. Uh, although Congress member Maloney could not be here today, we know that she uh, is here in spirit and through her staff, and that this wouldn't have been happening without her years of constant advocacy and stewardship. Uh, and we're really grateful for her Chief of Staff, Minna Elias. Uh, part of what we did with HSS involved a land use decision, which went through our community board and our borough president, Kale Brewer, 
And I want to thank our Manhattan Borough President Carol Brewer because she's been incredibly supportive on every single land use fight we've been having in this district. Uh, whether it's protecting parks like these from being cast into the shadows of super tall buildings or fighting to secure every single penny we can for our parks. She's been an amazing partner at the community board. We have Alita Camp and we have our, our parks chairs with Civitas who have been engaged in the planning. We have Alexander Adams, their executive director. And of course, as I was mentioning, you need to have conservancies. And in order to have a conservancy for organizations like HSS to join, you need to have leaders like Jennifer Ratner. And we've been proud to provide support funding and everything we can to make sure that every single park in our district has a conservancy like this one. And after opening new park space and helping to secure hundreds of millions and working every year to raise money to maintain parts of the Esplanade that don't have the benefit of a partner like HSS who has committed to maintain this area in perpetuity. So if you see graffiti, if you see anything go wrong here, please make sure to just call HSS and they'll get right to it. I was grateful to see that the bridge uh, looks just as good as new and I hope to see it continue in that place. Today we're announcing the completion of the East River Esplanade from 70th Street to 72nd Streets by Hospital for Special Surgery. When Hospital for Special Surgery wanted to make a small expansion to one of its buildings, they asked how they could best give back to the community. And in addition to the great work that they do healing New Yorkers uh, and their existing commitment to being a part of the Conservancy, we asked if they could do even more and they were more than happy to oblige. We modeled this on what we had done with Rockefeller University from 63rd to 68th Street and we wanted to continue to work our way north uh, here from 70th to 72nd Street and what we're seeing today is just a first step in the process. And so if you, if you look to my left, you will actually see a sprinkler. You will actually see water here on the Esplanade to keep the plants that have been planting alive. Uh, it's counterintuitive that you wouldn't have water right here on the Esplanade, right next to a body of water. But uh, because it's an estuary, uh, fun fact, it, it is saline, it has, it has salt. Uh, so as a result, we can't necessarily just pull water out of there for these plants. And so uh, this irrigation system, also people who run up and down the Esplanade, like our Commissioner Mitch Silver, have asked us for something important. They've asked us for a way to refill their water bottles and we now have a water filling station just one block away so folks who are thirsty in parks can have their water without having to leave this amazing park. And as we plan for the future, we have a commitment from HSS to not only do from 70th to 72nd, but moving forward all the way up to 78th Street. And one of the concerns that came from the community was just that it wasn't going to see feel like it was one unified park because Rockefeller was doing a piece, HSS was doing a piece, and uh, a, a much an, an even longer piece. And so HSS has collaborated with Rockefeller and the community to build a master plan for the Esplanade to build a similar look and feel for their whole place. And I can't wait to break ground on the next phase from 72nd to 78th. And I'm so grateful for the maintenance in perpetuity. That's going to mean that this area will continue to get the love and care it needs for as long as HSS and Rockefeller uh, remain here. This is truly great news. It is a model and it is one that we just continue to build on and replicate. And I just can't thank the HSS and Parks Department enough and all the members of the community who've been out there advocating and pushing for it. And my co-chair of the East River Esplanade Task Force, our Congress member, Carol Maloney, and my partner in all things land use and city charter, uh, our borough president, Gail Brewer. Very hard to follow the council member of details. <laughs> so congratulations, Ben Kalos, and thank you.
uh, hospital for special surgery, the commissioner and all of his wonderful park staff, uh, Congresswoman Maloney, Community Board 8, Civic Tax. You know, as the borough president, I do go to different uh, events up and down the riverfront, 32 miles of waterfront in the borough of Manhattan. And our shared goal is that one day those 32 miles will all be linked together as beautiful, accessible, well-designed public space for New Yorkers and visitors to enjoy. But I do want to thank everyone who made this possible. I must admit, I walk up and down a lot of walkways to get from the borough and the island of Manhattan to the waterfront. And this is the cleanest, shiniest walkway I've ever been on. And that's a big deal. That really, it means a lot. So congratulations. I picked garbage up on some of the other ones. <laughs> um, but anyway, the, the entire uh, community that uh, sourced the funding to make this possible should be congratulated. Um, I want HHS and the Parks Department working together. The commissioner just pointed out that when he worked in the borough president's office years ago, he was working on this esplanade. Everything takes time in this beautiful, fabulous city. But the fact of the matter is that when something is as well done and well maintained as the council member stated, then this is a real victory. So I'm just here to congratulate all the partners um, that make sure that this restoration of the East River Esplanade continues in the great way that it has. I thank you again, and I know that we will all see people outdoors enjoying this amazing space. Congratulations and thank you for the weather. It's very hard not to be watching television and, or listening to the radio right now. Hello, what's happening? <laughs> okay, still want to remind people this is an active Esplanade. It was almost a near collision with a runner and one of our uh, guests here. So just be very mindful, we're still on an active Esplanade. Uh, now uh, I'd like to introduce Chief of Staff for Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney, Minna Elias. I apologize, Minna is not here. So our final speaker before we officially cut the ribbon, Chair of Committee Board 8, Lita Kim. Thank you. I would like to say on behalf of the community, thank you so much to our elected officials, Congresswoman, Council Member, our President, Brewer to the Hospital for Special Surgery, the Parks Department, and the City of New York. New York is in a unique position. Manhattan is surrounded by water. Whatever enhances that experience of enjoying the waterfront is a great boon to the quality of life for New Yorkers and visitors alike. Congratulations and thank you to everyone who served as advocates and supported this project. So as we officially cut the ribbon, this $1.8 million really made a big difference. As I stated about three weeks ago, we were doing a long run and decided to run down the east side, down the battery in the west side. So I got to see all parts of the Esplanade as I ran with some of my friends. And I have to say, this section was by far the most spectacular section of the entire uh, Esplanade. So again, I want to give HHS and Lou Shapiro a round of applause for their outstanding work. And Councilmember Ben Kalos for being such a fierce advocate and support from all the other friends. So thank you all for coming. Now we're going to officially cut the ribbon on this brand new section of the East River Esplanade.